know what time it is. You already know what time it is. Happy I got next to see for the little Friday. You already know. It's going down. Yes. Yeah. 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 If you're watching right now, make sure you like and invite it. Give me yourself the thumbs up for making it through the week. Oh yeah. Know, you already know, man. You're rocking with the best, the best, the best, the best, the best hip hop showing the volume. I got next season to vote here on WDLS Radio. going on what's going on as you know we're going to start it off with the top 10 billboards and it goes down wait a minute wait a minute i did it wrong listen welcome to my i got next tv to vote the hottest hip-hop show in the valley as you know i'm your hoax mr kov king of the valley you already know and my diva co-host with the s get it Let's get it. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> he was trying to say both of us, but you messed it up. Trying to make it seem single. Nah. What up? What up? <laughs> I already know. I already know. <laughs> but yeah, you already know. Chinky in the building. I got next TV. The vote. We in here like swimwear. Like swimwear. It's going down tonight. What up, what up, what up, what up? Make sure you stay tuned. So listen, we're going to start out with the top 10 billboards. I see what's going on in the industry on the top 10. You already know. So, number one, we got In My Feelings by Drake. Number two, Girls Like You by Maroon 5 featuring Cardi B. Number three, I Like It by Cardi. 
Bad Bunny and J Balvin. That's my son. Number four, Fifi with um by Six Nine and Nicki Minaj. Right. They still up there. Better not. Yeah. That. That's yeah. That's always stuck. My, my throat is a little sore. Don't mind me. Um, <laughs> I, I left my cough drops. So, there That's we go. The <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, number five is Better Now by Post Malone. Number six is Lucid Dreams by Juice World. Seven, No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande. Number eight is... Uh, God is a Woman by Ariana Grande too, so she got two in a row right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she definitely is. What um, up? What up? Yellow tape. I see you. I see you, Angela Nicole. Sicko Mode. Um, is number nine by Travis Scott. Uh, Taste by Tiger is number ten. Right. Oh, he's done so. So yeah. there we go. With the my favorite song right now, I gotta say, is Dangerous by Meek Mill. Yes. That's been my me. all week. I've been me. giving yes. that song. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Replay. we killing it right there on that meat joint. I don't know. Mm. I've been listening to Abiel too hard. Yo, Abiel, yeah, he be killing it too. I'm Ain't, um, wait, I think Jake Jack about to do something. I think so. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know, but if he is, he better tell me in because I want to see Abiel too. <laughs> I don't know. I've Once again, like last that. I seen, I was pregnant. I had a big old belly, and I was out there like, "Yep." She said I was pregnant. I was. I was like eight months pregnant. Yep. And I was out there chilling. We took mad flicks. We was lit. He mad cool. And down the earth for Words. No doubt. But um, how was everybody's week? My week was long. What I did. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> your week was long because you did nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so, right. Now, so, no. now I got to fall back to sleep. How, you, how was your week, C? Oh, yeah. Shouts out to C for starting that new job. Give me to give her some hearts, some hearts, some thumbs. Shouts out to new job. Hey. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, that's no part-time job. Machu Gucci is the Gucci. Gucci. Stack your funds and go back to the crib, you know what I'm saying? That's good, that's good. I can't wait to start open up on my no corner. Doubt, man. <laughs> Listen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to the squirrel. Oscar. To Oscar, right. <laughs> um, Yo, but check it out. Um, oh yeah, check it out. So let me sh let me shout out these sponsors, these uh supporters. You already know. Wait, we gotta so take five seconds for a squirrel. Oh yeah, we gotta do that. My fault. Listen, for we gonna Oscar. take five seconds to rest in peace to CC Squirrel Oscar. So here we go. Rest okay. in peace, Oscar. Rest in peace. All right, let's see the score. See me hit you up. <laughs> oh. How do I <laughs> say goodbye? <laughs> so yesterday. Yo, yo, um. Oh, no. <laughs> shouts out to Harlem Hellfighter. Harlem Hellfighter clothing, you already know. Shower life. Mr. Mark Johnson, who is coming from Jersey to be in the building tonight. He will yes, be here he soon. Will. Um, shouts out to Embrace the Pain. Make sure you watch and Embrace the Pain straight to the point every Monday and Tuesday here on WDLS Radios. Um, shouts out to Joe Frazier Scholarship Fund, the Legacy Exists. Make sure you partake in that. You already know. Thanks. And um, oh yeah, shouts out to Tia Hamilton, uh, State vs. S Magazine, and you already know. And everybody else out there supporting us, shouts out to y'all, because without y'all, it is no us, and y'all the true MVPs anyway, yes. you are heard. You but listen, know. my week was kind of dope, you know what I'm saying? I was getting everything ready for the we'll take a party, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah, my yes, skits. Yo, yes, shouts out to everybody supporting yeah, my yeah. skits, bro. I just be doing some little joints yeah, when I'm on free time, like, I'll be bugging. <laughs> 
But yo, shout out to everybody. Yo, yeah, the joints is doing really good though. I ain't really think. I was just playing, yo. But uh, thanks. <laughs> no, that's really you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do be acting stupid on the low. Y'all hang out with me. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> no, the one I like. Yeah, I remember when yeah, I hit you up. Like I had the flower on me. I was like, yo. You like, what are you, yo, what are you doing? I'm like, yo, I'm making this shit. <laughs> but yo, 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 check it out. It's going down September 15th. The Bottega Poi Mansion party is you going down. Shouts out to Half the Hustler. It's You're going down. Cool. We got the Black Ooh. Ink crew coming in. Many more celebrities. Okay. We also filming a video. And man, listen. Tickets is twenty five dollars. If you need those tickets, make sure you hit up my man Half the Hustler, Corey Jamal on Facebook, the real Half the Hustler on IG, and also if you need the tickets, hit hit up from Pop from Pop from up the block. Shouts out to Pop from up the block, um, from the barbershop. You already know, um, hey, pop, pop from, from the barbershop from up the block. block. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> pop from the barbershop. You already know. And, um, yeah, it's going down know. September fifteenth. It's gonna be a litty situation. Listen, you can't even pull up. Like we sending sprinters to pick you up, the the uh, the pick you up from a location to drive you out to the mansion. So there's no way you could just pull up to the party anyway. So you know what I'm saying? You already know it's going down. Oh, it's not. But yeah, it's gonna go down. So uh, y'all get them tickets. Oh, also on that day, at September 5th at the mansion party, the Bodega Bet, Bodega Boy Mansion party. The 15th. 15th. That's what I said, right? 5th. Oh, my bad. On the 15th, <laughs> September 15th. We just busy. We have an auditions for our web series that we're doing called Word. Secret Lives. So anybody who takes the craft serious and would like to be a part of this web series called Secret Lives, is, listen, it's going to be dope. So um, definitely, it's is. not no hood hood series. It's not like, I mean, no hood, no, on no hood, on no hood ish. But, um, it's like middle class people, you know what I'm saying? One of them is a designer, fashion designer. One of, is a, one of them is a photographer. And I ain't going to break it down too much. You know what I mean? That's just the, the, you know what I mean? I can't get into it. But if you think you got what it takes to be an actor or an actress or even some extras, you know what I'm saying? Check it out. These twists called Secret Lives. I will tell you the series, whoever's in this series right here, it's not going to be the same series every every time we drop one. It's going to be a, a different scenarios every time. That's why it's called Secret Lives. So it's different scenarios about what people hide in their lives. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a hood thing. It's like a thinker. So whoever think they got some real acting skills, get at me and um, show up at the party. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Have a good time. Get at me. All bottles on get us. You already me. know. You know what I'm saying? So Word. pull up. Get Hold some up. free bottles. I mean, do your audition. Have a great time. Bring your swimwear because it is a pool party. As yes, 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 it is a oh, pool party. Yes. But you know what I'm saying. And videos will be a video, live video is being filmed. Celebrities will be in the building. Shouts out to Half the Hustle one more time. If you need those tickets, one more time, make sure you get at Corey Jamal on Facebook or the Real Half the Hustler on IG. Shouts out to the Wake and Bake, man. Make sure y'all watching Wake and Bake every Monday through Friday. You know what I'm saying? And especially on Monday, because every Monday is breakfast with Wake and Bake and I Got Next TV. So you make sure you watch it every Monday. Not just on Mondays, but every day, Monday through Friday. But Monday, exclusively tune in, tune in two times. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. See, got some okay. hip-hop reports. That we got because oh yeah, uh, listen, listen, listen. We started this new thing called Bozo of the Week, so we picked the Bozo of the Week this week. And uh, go ahead, see, start it off. Bozo Your Bozo, mm -hmm. go ahead. So I don't know if everybody heard. What up, Julius Thomas? But or seen. Appreciate you for tuning in. There was in. a video that had went viral on um on what was it Snapchat and somebody and Facebook and everything. On, yeah, yeah, Facebook and and all that and it was of these uh of this girl giving these three kids like weed to smoke yeah she was passing it yeah uh -huh. i know y'all all seen years. the um yeah, the girl the girl um passing around the weed giving the kids the uh mm -hmm. the, the, her, the blunt 
what's her what's her real name again? Uh, Michaela Pearson. Michaela Pearson. Yeah, that's her Candace, name. Candace Little. And Candace Little. Little. Right. Listen, what's her name again? I said. <laughs> Michaela Pearson. Yeah. And Candace Little. And Candace they Little. They get bozo of the week. Y'all both get bozo of the week. Bozos. bozos. Like that's that's <laughs> wild. Like you really like come on now. And then you know how old these kids were. Yeah. The baby was only eighteen months. Yeah. Right. That's that's the youngest what? one. Then yeah, the other like, one was two, listen, and then the other one was three. Smoking around that's kids so that age is bad enough, but passing them the L two, like wow. And like literally crazy. putting it in and their mouths, yeah. like. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Shouts out to them. Shouts out to them. For receiving bozo of the week, come pick right, up your award. How, how long <laughs> they've been doing that with their kids for? Cause the. Especially the the little boy, he you seemed like he knew what he was like, doing. Yeah, because that like, obviously wasn't um, new. Right. Obvi- obviously wasn't new because he knew what he was doing. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did y'all hear about the girl that um got killed in the Bronx? Not. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, she went to go save her friend. Yeah. And her boyfriend and her friend had chopped her up and put her in the yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, her body parts in the river. Bags. Yeah, that Yo, was crazy. Yo, it's crazy. Shout out to the girl in the Bronx. Yo. That's what I'm What's up, people? We gotta do better, man. Facts. Like, that's you know, shout out to everybody that made it through the week, man. If you listen right now, hit them heart buttons, hit them love buttons. Make sure you like and love yourself. This is for you. Hit the like buttons, hit the love buttons. You love yourself right now. Hit them heart, hearts and likes, man. I know I love my. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it just me? Is it just me, or is it like? This weather, like, got my allergies crazy. Like, allergies crazy. Yeah, you hear, like, I feel like I'm, I like, stuffy. Like, <laughs> my throat is itching, like. What's wrong with you? Yeah, allergies. Anthrax. Mm. Yeah, anthrax. 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 You sure? You see. <coughs> Boo. Don't. You know how I feel about germs. All right. <laughs> now, listen. Meat Mills approves. For a new ju- for his judge to be removed in a new Supreme Court hearing in Pennsylvania, so he I guess he took it. Nah, he took it to a Supreme, like he he overruled. He's taking it to like the higher being, mm-hmm. like right. he wanted he wanted a new judge. He wanted his judge removed, so he's taking it to the next level to get his judge removed. You see what I'm saying? Like, but then this accident happened in New York. What happened? What? Where he got in trouble at? Mm-hmm. Out here, Pennsylvania. This is this is the same case that he's been. Yeah, been fighting. Yeah, we've been talking about. He just want a new judge. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't blame him because the judge is grimy. Well, well, his whole his whole case is is you know messed up. But we're not we're not gonna get into that because we 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 always talk about yeah we we always get into Meek Mills and his case and stuff like that. But we love you, Meek Mills. Shout out to Meek. You already know. Listen, Bow Wow admits he feels mentally. Distract after he lost his unborn son. Oh man, Aww. I can't yeah. even. Bow Wow been having mental problems on the low. I think he's going through like some depression or something. Cause like he be bitten on Twitter and stuff like that. Like he be saying he's gonna kill himself and all types. You better of stuff. stop. So yeah, he been going through some other stuff. So wow. now he done lost this. So I guess I don't know. Well, that, I think that's he heartbreaking. Need, why don't he just get some help? You know, he got bread. You know, he's fast. He better get on all the medications. Depression, anxiety, and yeah. everything. Well, hey, man. So, no, he need to go he see a therapist. Because yeah. yes. that, that's rough. I don't know. I don't know how, how I would handle a situation like that. Yeah, so. yeah. So look, y'all know that Drake got in this. Well, got attacked or uh, attacked somebody at uh, the Kardashians' little uh, ex-boyfriend or whatever. So. Uh, he getting hit with a law. He getting threatened to get sued. So I don't know how that's gonna really play off. Cause uh, I don't know. They really that's didn't good. do nothing. They were just threatened. I don't know. They just threatened him, so it's yeah, no fun. It's like yeah. so he wanted to sue for no reason. <laughs> I mean, it, it was big on TMZ and all that, but it wasn't really. I don't big. think he could. Well, right. I don't know if y'all heard, but Snoop Dogg is um, coming out with his own cookbook. Oh, yeah. yeah, called From Crook to Cook. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard about it. I yeah. be watching it. So, that show is that's, so funny. That's going to do good, man. That's going to do good. You know yeah, it got, 
It got um 50 of his favorite recipes and his personal tips in it. And it's not, it don't have nothing to do with weed or anything like that. No, you know, not, yeah, because that's it always the, the when you think of Snoop Dogg, that's always the first thing you think of. You know it's going to be inside. It's nothing like that. He's going to actually be making some you know, some, yeah. some food, his his favorite shout recipes. Out to, so. Shout out to DS Flip. Um, dot moolah what up embrace the pain you already and know listen you know, also I, get that dot moolah be, be you you already know you know what i mean speaking of snoop have you seen that he came out with that show with with um martha right. stewart yeah. you haven't seen yeah, it i've seen I something about it. it yeah i haven't watched it either but i definitely heard about it too so I, I don't i'm not sure what it's called right. but they be cooking it's i don't called, know um, she look like she she be smoking. Um, um, she <laughs> worth the she story. Hang out so with good too. And they yeah, be having the munchies on that yeah. show because mm. they show me cooking. Right. Like all, every time. You every probably time. already come there, already lifted, take his little smoke breaks on the on the, on the breaks with the on the filming, you know what I'm saying? They sure do. They be smoking yeah. on the show. Yeah, right, like, yeah. Yo, yeah. six nine and Luda beef. What y'all think? Six nine and Luda, they not even on Luda. the same level. I think they well, both funny though. This is I why. I think that skit you did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, yo. No. Yo. I like, yo. But look, I think I think this this beef. This why I did the uh, the, uh, the skit, skit because I think it's funny. It's two funny people. Like you know, I know Luda can get funny, right? right. And six nine, he already funny. I mean, just look at him. Anything he do is funny. Just videos. Everything. <laughs> so it's just like two funny people. So it's like. You know I mean? but, it's a funny but, say, but, but Luda, Luda, is like but Luda can get it in though he right he like, definitely can but, but I'm just looking at it yes. as, I'm looking at it at the uh, entertainment aspect like that's two funny niggas like funny ass Luda and, and, a, and a real clown like a real clown. <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Luda and against a real clown like that's crazy that's a <laughs> funny beef bro <laughs> what up what up what up they shouldn't be beefing cause what, like what up, Stacy Zig? I see you. And how old is What up, um, Mike Deck? I see 69? you. 69 is what, like 20 something years old? 69. So, yeah. Don't say it like that. 69 is like. <laughs> <laughs> 69, yeah, 69. Not even Takashi. Right? Like <laughs> 69? Uh, he's like. Uh, it is like. talking about 69? 69. 68, I owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got That's some more. Um, so another woman spoke up about R. Kelly. What's that one? Another woman. Another. Ashanti McGee. McGee. Um, basically, back in 2013, he invited her over. Um, to hang out or whatever and then a few and then I guess up, they ended Sheryl up Smith? he ended up uh, they ended up hooking up or whatever but apparently you know of course it was not consensual Word. so but uh, apparently she made it seem like he forced her well not made it seem we all know the situation with R. Kelly but yeah. Them girls be giving it up. Our they Kelly, but he had all them girls in the house, so yeah, it's like all them girls went to his house. Our Kelly been in trouble with little girls since uh, Aaliyah, mm-hmm. right? And, and and he even peed on. We all know he peed on a little girl, and and and, and nobody. Nobody cares. Like I don't. Like, he pee. Not only that, he, knew he, he was sex. using young. Yes, he was using young girls as sex, sex slaves. Yeah, like, like, oh, we man. talked they about all of this already. Yep, yo, mm-hmm. Yes, it did. But they let it happen. That's why they took they all his music. They let it happen. These were young girls that he. Off of, um, off of everything. Listen, and when they took all his music off everything, his sales increased. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I know. Uh, basically, the woman was saying that he turned the whole house into basically like a, a sex house. Like it was a whole bunch of women in there, and they were, the there was other women. It, yeah, there was other women, and yeah, exactly, other women had said the same thing. So it was other like celebrities in there too. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I don't know. Hosting like you know all I'm types of though. activities. So yeah, <laughs> but that's R. Kelly. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, it's confirmed. 
Girlfriend is pregnant. Yep. Yep. Unfortunately, one, so. there's gonna be another child with a without a father. Um, Unfortunately, but the yeah. good part is it like he, he left he left he had a kid. You know what I mean? He mm -hmm. left something behind. He left something behind. Right. You know I mean, he his kids gonna be behind. really well taken care of because you know they got the clothing now. Now his name is copyrighted, so it's you know I mean he's making a lot just off his name, and they got the pages popping still. So you know. This kid to be very taken care of. Like they got a, a whole foundation and everything. They like, right. actually, actually, he did. He did something like that. It's a, it's a, it's a sad thing, but at least he was a, able to impact. I mean, right. Why he that's not even? Nice. That's that's good. That's a good thing. Though. Right. So rest in peace to him and shout out to his family. Yeah. yeah congratulations so. on his new son. You know I mean? right. Listen, Funk Flex. He says. Cardi B pays DJs for radio play. Which a lot of people say yeah. that about Cardi B, but but listen, it's hey, just, she's investing in herself as she should. Ain't that part <laughs> of the game though? Ain't that what you're supposed to do? As she should invest in herself. You, <laughs> ain't you supposed to? <laughs> you're making me hungry. That's so good. But <laughs> what you got over there? Ain't that what you're supposed to do though? <laughs> if you got a, like, you supposed to pay the yeah, pay the DJ to play your song. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think mm -hmm. that that's, that's what you're supposed to do. Look, oh, back no. in the I, day. That's, that's why Nicki Minaj is mad at her back right in now. The, no, listen. Back in the day, when when they was on vinyls, and, and, and you had to pay to get in the uh, not it wasn't even a club. It was house parties. You right. know what I'm saying? And and everybody paid to get in that house party, and the DJ was scratching his vinyls. You know what I'm saying? But before they even had their vinyls out, even if they did have their vinyls out, you know what I'm saying? If they did have their vinyls out, they'll slip the DJ a little 20 or whatever, whatever, put this on, you know what I'm saying? Or if you didn't have it, you'll slip the little DJ a little 20 or whatever like that, to just to rap on the mic, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that. But see see, see how that, that's that's part of the game. What hey, are you talking you about? Pay your way through, right. <laughs> so how I don't do know, that? I don't even know how that even making everybody, a, making this a that's thing. That don't make no what sense. What do you mean? That's been going on since the... The, of the, time. <laughs> the, the 80s, the 80s, baby. I'm an 80s baby. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but. so I got this little crazy story. Uh -oh. So, <laughs> uh -oh. there's this woman um, named Asia Argentino who last year claimed that she was raped by Harvey Weinstein, right? She's also a leader of the Me Too movement. You know, of all the women that had to deal with sexual abuse and all of that. Right. So, a story broke out that this woman paid a, a boy by Jimmy Bennett $380,000 to keep silent about a sexual encounter between the two. Right. Yes. A young boy. So... Mind you, the boy at the time uh, was only 17, apparently. So Yo, they're trying to, I mind you, but she, I don't know. I don't know. I seen some other other issue um, on Facebook, too, um, about some 42-year-old man marrying this 12-year-old girl. Yeah, that was that no he was more, i think he was more than 42. Yeah. Yeah. it was older than that it was like, it was like 70 80, something yeah and 82. then there was a whole but i think it was an experiment well it was an experiment that they were doing what you mean it, no no it was an experiment that's why they had no not, not how the, did you call that an experiment no bro. that's what they were saying right there yeah, because they were acting right there but that's not that was not real right there Ooh, that's no. why they had the camera the set up right there like but i don't know nah. Listen, I don't, I don't even, 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 even that, even, even, that, even, if, even, even listen, 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 look at that picture, you, so. look, look at that picture right there, you know what I'm saying, from, from that image, that, 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 that they just presented to everybody on the Facebook, whether it's a movie or not, but listen to that image, even if it is a movie, look at that image that you and presented. And that's why they had you know all the people, like, like, there was a whole bunch of people that you, stopped you, them. you're going to make like, people this think this right. image mm -hmm. is okay, so one day it comes acceptable, just like a lot of... Stuff that we done 
said never accepted then became acceptable because they threw the image in right. our face you see what i'm saying it's like right. that's they what they're going they to do you know what i'm saying they were trying to spread awareness about it that okay. was the point of them that's, doing that video all right we know but awareness no, we know we, awareness. they kidnapping kids they making kids sex slaves and doing all types of yeah, we know awareness <laughs> i don't know well, you know, in, in other countries, like me, they, was promoting, they can't get promoting, married to, like, you know, you know married with with kids. It's, it's okay disgusting, to. but you know, like, nah, it's crazy. No, 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 no. They, yeah, that's Don't it's wild. No good. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah. mother of Gucci man's son is requesting twenty thousand a month for child support. Damn. Bullshit. He well, make a lot of money though, yeah, but, but not that much. That's okay. She didn't make that kind of money. Facts. So why he? Why she only got one child by him, right? For child support. Don't get me wrong. I got no problem with a man standing up in the gym, but at the same time, they overreact to these prices that they give. Right. Damn. What the? What's she gonna do with a hundred and some thousand a month? Right. <laughs> She's still living in a project. She don't got to pay no she light. Do right. It's like, no, nothing. It, 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 it's like, that system needs to be turned around and it needs to be equalized. Right. Because if you're not making that much money and I'm making way more than you, why do I gotta make, why do I gotta pay you so much? Mm -hmm. Right. You, there should be a stipulation on like what a percentage, she gets, right? And it should go by what she gets, right? And, and she should have to bring her bills, bring everything that she has to pay mm -hmm. in order for the child, and then they give her a little something extra right. on top for clothes, hygiene right. products, food. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But twenty thousand, twenty thousand. Yeah, that's that's wild. Get your ass out the rich side. You ain't even rich. Twenty thousand. <laughs> Lauren Hill shuts down claims of saying that she stole music for the her her uh you know the uh damn I forget the name of it. <laughs> I don't know. The uh I can't even help you, I'm sorry. Her only one, the only one she got out. She only got one. Who the album. Do? Yeah, what's the name of that album though? Right yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but listen. 
they claim like she didn't write it or something or didn't write some of it or something like that but the person claiming that is the person that would alive alive she, they played the guitar or something for them mm-hmm. right. and, um, they're not long, no longer with the group so he used some of the stuff that um yeah the miss there you go see um the miss as a kitchen in the Lauren hill yeah that one so um he's claiming that he helped write something or the tunes or something like that but he you know he's only doing that because he got caught like putting out a cd with like some of the tunes and instant that like, stuff that, that on there so she like was suing him and then he threw that in there like uh well i helped write this that the third she like nah bro so it didn't wow. even make it yeah it yeah it didn't even make it to court though so she shut that all the way down got the lawyers right on it so he she shut that all the way down for her for buddy so (laughs) yeah she did shout out to lauren she did that's a that's an epic album right there (laughs) he sure Uh, did (laughs) (laughs) yo (laughs) shout out to drake for going through checking out that little 11 year old girl at the uh needed the heart transplant he showed up at he showed up at her um surgery yeah i mean i seen that video on facebook too that was like her wish it was like to get to get the the implant and to see drake and he he made he made that happen for her so that's what's up yeah i feel like more artists should do that for you know what I think so too. I think so too. And once, once, once that happens, once that happens, a lot more people are gonna come together. Right. You and I, T Y. You and I, T Y. I say unity. We are the world. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that just gave me a flashback at a choir, sixth grade. Like, you know, when, um, see, that's so good. We used to sing that graduation. I sang that graduation in like sixth grade. Did y'all, did y'all swing side to side? Yeah, we sure did. And after the song, we threw our hats in the air. Uh, we had a whole little <laughs> thing. That was a junior high, man. That was very long <laughs> Yo, y'all heard about the dude rushing the stage on the JC on the Jay Z tour? Oh man, I sure did. Yeah. They're gonna sue the bricks off of whoever started that. Yo, Wait, what happened? They don't think the, some guy ran on stage while they was um they was at the end of the um performance oh, cool. con- yeah under the performance of the tour, and um some guy ran on stage. I guess he was trying to give him a hug. I don't know what he was trying to do, but. He approached them and yeah, he ooh, ran like literally. There was killed. a video like they were in the middle of the performance and you see somebody running back and then you start hearing all this shouting and then you see everybody running back like it was crazy. Like, I don't, can't sue Jay Z. I, I said know. he did wrong. Yeah, he did you don't step on no con- concert, Jay Z concert. You run on stage. You crazy. crazy you right? cool. You see what happened to little mama? <laughs> and she is celebrity. Right, right. and she is a celebrity. <laughs> and she was like, and she did it being. Yeah, like, trying to represent. Well, I don't. I doubt if he he shouldn't sue, but I, even if he sue, I doubt if he win it though. Jay Z should be the one suing. They didn't. They didn't. The security didn't do their job. Okay. I will agree on that. Because ain't nobody should have been on that stage. Because if if, if they should get sued, then I would sue the security for a lot. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Wow. That's crazy. Well, they're going to be doing that to y'all one day, too. I'm going to be like, boop. There ain't no more. I'm going to be like, boop. Hold on. Yeah. Still be singing tonight. Say in my episode. What I'm doing. What I'm doing. Listen. Fat Joe's oh, former wait, business wait. partner sues rapper for for a hundred and fifty thou. Mm-hmm. Listen, listen, and sh- for shares in a sh- shoe store. Fat Joe's just every day. Yeah, he. Right. I don't listen. They say they had some business going down, and the, and it wasn't right, and 
Fat Joe walked away with some money that he owed him some money. I don't know. That's the situation here. So he getting sued. I doubt it. I don't know. He ain't worried about it. He ain't worried about it. Say it. Well, we were just talking about what was it, a couple of weeks ago that in, that incident where he he walked out of that restaurant because of the clothes he had. They said that he was inappropriately dressed, or his oh. somebody in his his team was inappropriately addressed oh. in in uh, oh, Fat, Fat Joe? Joe's entourage. Yeah, yeah. when they had went to the restaurant. Yeah, I, it was. I'm yeah. joking. I like Jada Apparently, they were too casual. It was one of the restaurants where you had to be like suit and tie, dress shoes, you know. So yeah, but they were asked to even go to a well, private said, room just so they wouldn't interfere with that was the dress code. How the rest of the, the dress code um, is a yeah. business. It's a, it don't matter who you are. You can't so just come, come and disrespect. Yeah. Listen, right. if the president came to your house, can he? Wipe his feet on your couch. Can he? Can I'll he, can smack he, the he hell out of your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can he? Can he? Like, I'm so, like, clean like, that like, off. You know what I mean? Like, clean that off. Thank you. <laughs> but you said clean it off. Yeah, like. Oh. What the hell? I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> we go under the joke. Speaking of president. President. No. Shouts out to Sir Her Highness. <laughs> I'm sorry, I ain't want to mess it up. I ain't know how to pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, Root boys. We're gonna take a quick break. I got no bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're gonna take a quick break. One time, shouts out to Harlem Hellfighter Clothing. You already know, shouts out to Sour Life. Shouts out to Oh, No Days Off, Mark Johnson. Shouts out to ETP. Make sure you're watching straight to the point every Monday and Tuesday right here on WDLS Radios. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the Joe Figure, Joe Fraser. Scholarship Fund, the Legacy. Make sure you're supporting that. We're giving out scholarships to all the unachieved kids out there that need that want to go to school and need to go to school so make sure you're checking that out at the legacy.com you know what i'm saying investing and in, spending your time in there check it out we're gonna take a quick break and we be back you know what i'm saying on the meantime in the between time hit us up in the comments let us know how your week is how your week was and let us know what you're doing tonight you know we popping out at tonight catch 22 see where y'all there tonight let us know where y'all popping out at and um right, no. hit us up in the comments we're going on this everybody. break
niggas talking like they want it when we in the city, they don't want problems. Niggas say they gon' rob us, but nigga, we coming for welfare. I shoot a bullet when I pull it, how you catch a bullet like a head of failure? Should've known it was litty when bitches don't lie on my dick. Lie on they pussy like I am, can't even be a side side bitch. I'm in Nas, chains, and you ain't even looking like you a fine. Bro, bitches trying to do it for Twitter when they used to do it for Vivo. I'm the man of the hour. I'm the nigga with the airtime. Rolls Royce Ray put your bitch up in the stars like she in the airline. Niggas talk about my hairline. I laugh about it, I be feeling them. See, we be both making M's, they be making memes, I be making millions. I just counted up a Quinn Miller, a QM, that's a quarter milli. They don't want to see J drop six fly proper when he go to Philly. Funny money, I know it's silly, but you all feel me. When I pull up and I got a ball for all the promise, she gon' know it's Liddy, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Hop in the red and I bought it, it's Liddy again. <laughs> Fly out of fifth in the traffic and lit it again. All of my partners is popping, you know that we lit it again. All of the fours on college, you know that we lit it again. They don't wanna see the squad, they don't wanna see the race. They don't wanna see a bitch up in the stars like she going out of space. Lit it again, lit it again, I gotta be lit it again. Lit it again, lit it again, I gotta be lit it again. All of my niggas is way up, these niggas is haters, I know that they hate us. I score your bitch like a layup. Score. I make a meal like a layup. More. I pop a bill just to stay up. Ooh. I sit the lean just to slide up. I'm with my team and we going up. Going up. All of these fours they know us. Ah. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Like the talker when we meet the soda up. Perfect time and then we blowing up. Blowin up. Fuck it up, I like the rally up. Shorty fucking for Chanel. Chanel. I ain't tripping, that's a coconut. coconut. Put the ride to the motor bus. Yeah. Set the paper from the sofa. Lay on that paper. Get married to money. I married niggas to marry the money. She rich as Mariah. I carry the money and fuck the deposit. I buy the money. I buy the mills. I buy the money and hang out my pocket and buy some money. I act like I ain't used to having this money. Oh! Hop in the red and I bought it this litty again. Fly out of fifth in the traffic and litty again. All of my partners is popping. You know that we litty again. All of the fours on college. You know that we litty again. They don't want to see the squad. They don't wanna see the rain. They don't wanna see your bitch up in the stars like she going out of space. Liddy again, Liddy again, I gotta be Liddy again. Liddy again, Liddy again, I gotta be Liddy again. I apologize for that. I had to make sure I mute my fault. Welcome back to I Got Next TV. I had to go pick up our guest outside, Mark Johnson. Hold on, let me turn the music off. I had to go pick up the guest, Mark Johnson, outside. My fault. We're going to get back into these hip hop reports. Go ahead, CC. Start it off. Set it off. I mean, set it off. Set it off. Set it off, CC. And then belly. I knew you was gonna say that. Uh, I, I knew it was coming. <laughs> and belly. I love my belly. Y'all love belly? I love belly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I'm Keisha. Um, there's been a few challenges and all that, you know, going on on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, we talked um. A couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, actually, about um, a challenge where the kids were pouring boiling hot water right. on each other, 
and they had got rushed, that's rushed to the hospital. That's a dumb, that's a dumb trauma. Right. right. Well, now. Hello. Hi. Mac Johnson stepping in the building. You already know. Hello. With his um, lovely queen. So, apparently now there's a new challenge going on. And it is the fire challenge where now kids are actually lighting each other on fire like oh yeah i seen they had that challenge that uh, uh, dumb challenge a couple of years ago so really well there's well apparently that's game. starting back that's, up yeah that's the dumbest because one of the other dumbest girl, challenges well apparently was sleep on her her couch when um she had her friend sleeping over it and all of a sudden her mother was in her room and seen the girl running in the hallway screaming they on fire right because of this this challenge this right. you know these challenges that, are getting out of here. That is so stupid. Like, Listen, yeah. I tell my daughter, man, she better not do no challenges if they don't involve no dancing. <laughs> you know That's the only challenge. And they got to be clean dancing, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, these challenges be dumb. Yeah. Man, like, what are you challenging? I'm challenging you to kill yourself. <laughs> Scar yourself for life. So listen, we got our guest Mark Johnson, Matt Johnson in the building. You already know what's going on. What's going on, man? Yeah, yeah, Matt. Mr. No <laughs> Days Off. Listen, we both share that, though. Well, we definitely <laughs> do. We linked Yo, up ASAP. We, we linked up ASAP. ASAP. Yo, that story's crazy. My homegirl Benji from Embrace the Pain, you know what I'm saying? I always scream, no days off, no days off. You know what I'm saying? She like, I know somebody who actually do the shirts. So I'm like. Oh really? Wow. She sold me the shirts. I'm like, yo, I gotta get down with that. I gotta get down with that. So I, I hooked up with my man Macho. I'm showing him. I'm telling him, he's like, yeah, you always say that. That's dope. That's dope. I'm like, yeah, let's go get some of these joints. He's like, yeah. So you know, what I'm saying we we linked up with you, and, and you know, what I mean, he brought like a box of them joints, and like That's ever crazy. since then we've been linked up. Like you know, what I'm saying, however you want to get it. If you can't contact them, I shoot you the way. You know, what I'm saying yeah. it's just like. You know what I'm saying? We just been networking ever since, bro. That's that's, that's just crazy, true love. Like I, I, I appreciate that grind, cause like when I see that right there, I stand for that too. So it was like, yo, I gotta be a part of that. Word. And it was like I could go like he wasn't in California or something. Like I could go talk to him like, yo, bro, come out. Pulled up. You know right what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Fact. So I appreciate that, man. And no days off, man. Tell tell everybody about the apparel and everything. What's going on? It's your boy Mac Johnson coming out of Roselle, New Jersey. Reside now in Easton, so shout out this whole PA movement. Right. Um, the clothing line actually came about me and my wife. We was uh in our first year of being married, so we just decided to throw on some sweatsuits. Right. And before before the clothing, I was doing music. My first mix, my second mixtape was called No Days Off Two. Right. So right after that, she like, uh, babe, like that no days off is really moving. Let's do some apparel. I ain't want to jump into it right away. Right. I ain't know nothing about apparel, nothing like that. Right. All we did was got some sweatsuits made. And then right after that, I got a lot of contact information. Like everybody coming up to me like, yo, where you get that sweatsuit from? And then right there, it just took off right there. Right. Where I know. I, I, took the, I took the jump and I took the leap of faith. So Right. I did that. I made it happen. Right, I know, I know, I know. That was when I like. If everybody felt the way when I see them joints, I'm like, yo, that them joints is dope. Like I gotta have them joints. Like as <laughs> soon as I got them joints, I put everybody on the way. My my kids got them joints, all that. I put everybody what? on the way. Like yo, everything, get it. <laughs> yeah, facts. But shout out, man. Let them know. Introduce yourself. I'm sorry, it's my queen. Man. Right, right. <laughs> Mrs. Teresa Johnson, a.k.a. Mrs. Mac Johnson. Mrs. <laughs> Mac. A.k.a. <laughs> Miss No Days Off. <laughs> right. So, um, what's the movement on that? Tell them how to get that. Tell them how to get it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all need, y'all need, got, to, y'all need uh, to get this, man. Y'all can follow me on uh, Facebook at Mac Johnson, M-A-C-C Johnson, Instagram, Mac underscore Johnson 239. So wherever you go is Mac M C Johnson. Right. You can contact me, inbox me, DM me. However, cause right now we ain't got no web, we ain't got no website right now. I'm looking for somebody. So any web designers any, out listen, there that's looking for any any web designers right now watching, hit 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 your info in the comments. 
You know what I'm saying? And we'll get to you. But right now, we're doing everything off social media. Right. So, listen. Make sure y'all follow the movement because it's moving. You heard? Listen, and it's not just shirts. I mean, it's sweatsuits. Mom and dad. What they call it? Pop hat. Like he, yeah, hats. You know what I'm saying? All colors, all flavors. Whatever you need done up, my man going to get you right with the no days off. So, listen. Get yours because I got mine, man. I got a couple. You know what I'm saying? I need some cars here. Oh, yeah. Oh, facts. They're going to start going on the table, too. So, if y'all need the info, stop on down at the station. You know what I'm saying? we get you some info on this apparel, on this movement that's going on with this no days off. Because y'all shouldn't be taking no days off anyway. Because um, <laughs> I don't know where y'all think y'all going to be at in life taking days off, man. I'm going to take no days off. You see it. Listen. Also, man, what's going on with the book? Don't think, yeah, 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 the yeah, book. Yo, you got them cards going, you got some authors. So Look, this lady is author. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, I, I know about the book. Let me get into this book. What's I mean, going if on with my the wife want to express it, want to talk about it, this is her first time right. being on the radio. Being on well, here, you hear it first. So, yeah, I got next week to vote the hottest hip hop show in the body. This is what we do. I'm out to all the shows, all the interviews. And right now, this is a big platform to promote the book. So, you want to talk about the book? You get them a wow. backstory. Shouts out to everybody yes, supporting. Yes, Shouts book. out to you know, everybody watching. Listen, this is the book, book right here. What's the name of it? True to our scandal. True to our scandal. This is this lady's book, young lady's book. I think y'all. How did how did they get this book? Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. You pick this book up right now. Y'all go out on your apps. Y'all know y'all don't gotta go out to the store. Get on your app. And go download this book right here from this lovely lady right here. Tell us about the book, would you please? Well, I don't know. Like, when people ask me, I don't even know where to begin because it's such a crazy twist to the story. Like, everything right. that's in this book is facts. No twist. I didn't have to add anything to make it crazy. It's just crazy. Right. But, so um, it's, is it it's like a reality? Yeah. Right. It's really about, like, how we met and how we're so connected and the twist in our story is like probably from the beginning um well the funny thing is my husband's uh daughter's mom is married to my ex-husband's cousin so our kids are like brother and sister slash cousins <laughs> and then his older brother is pretty much engaged to my ex-husband's aunt so we didn't even yeah i fell in love i fell in love with the plug <laughs> i met him back in 2011 but um he's he was around before 2011 he was actually hanging with my younger brother <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't even know that he, my brother yeah, had a sister. <laughs> so 2011 when we met, I was actually um, dealing with someone, which was my ex-husband. And at the time, he was just my baby father. And he came into the picture, and we started to date. But this was like after I broke up because <laughs> I found out that my baby father at the time was cheating on me but when he told me he didn't mean to tell me because we was all supposed to go out to this hotel party and my um, baby father was like yeah I wanted to go to church and I'm like I can't argue with him to go to a hotel party versus church so I'm like all right go to church I'm with it whatever so he hits me up Mac hits me up and he's like yeah so um I thought y'all was going to the hotel party. And I'm like, yeah, we going to the hotel party. He was like, yo, I just seen old boy. And I sold him a bag. <laughs> and he was in a car with some other females. So I'm like, really? I'm called, I called the church. Because <laughs> I know what time everything starts. Devotional, all that. So I'm calling. It was like, no, he's not there. I'm blowing his phone up. He wouldn't answer. I'm sitting there like. Yo, he really played me. So he came, Matt came to the house, and we end up going out to the hotel party. I was like, man, forget him. I'm out. <laughs> so me, him, and my younger brother went um, 
to make a long story short, because it's really long, um, <laughs> I ended up choosing my baby father at the time because I really didn't know Mac, and I had a, I had a kid by him, so I felt like taking the safe route was the best thing to do, so I stayed with him, and we got married, and I say about, well, before that, the funny thing is, they got into a conversation, and... Yeah, <laughs> and, bef and before that, we were sitting in the car, all three of us were sitting in the car, and I was talking about marriage with my baby father, and he didn't want the marriage. He was just like, nah, let's wait, let's wait, trying to string me along. So I was like, all right, you want to string me along, I'm going to do me. Right. So he saw that I was getting close to Mac, and one day we was in the car, and he just came out and was just like, yeah, so um, you coming to our wedding? So me and Mac look at each other like, what? What like, wedding? Yeah. So I turned around like, what are you talking about? And he was like, yeah, we, we getting married, right? So back then, like, I fell for it. He was my baby father. I fell for it. I ended up um, choosing him, and they had words. And he actually told him, like, listen, I'm letting you get her back. Like, next time, you might not be lucky. Uh-oh. So I married him. <laughs> I married him. Right. It fell off two years later. Um, probably not even two years. And probably within that year, we became homeless. And he straight just abandoned us because he said he couldn't handle the situation at hand or whatever. So he was running around the streets doing whatever. Um, at the time, my daughter was one. Um, my oldest son was three. No, my my second son was three, and my oldest was probably like around nine. Mm. So we was hotel hopping, and he was just doing him. And I, I started finding out that he was messing with different girls here and there, whatever. So I ended up having a dream about this guy. I haven't seen him nothing for three years. I had a dream about him. And I was like, I end up, I was, I went to Target, found out some other stuff because my husband, well, my ex-husband used to work there and his friend told me like, yo, he, he's not working here. He hasn't been here for two weeks. I didn't know this. So right then and there, I was just like, I'm, I'm completely done. I'm walking down the street and he comes riding past me and I'm looking like we both looked at each other like we've seen a ghost, like, wait a minute. So I kept walking, my heart beat fast. I'm like, yo, I just had a dream about this guy. Right. But I tried to brush it off because in the back of my head, I just wanted my marriage to work at the time. But um, it didn't. <laughs> so he actually, um, I actually text him. I text him December 5th at 1229. And from there, like, we just text every day. We reconnected. Um, my ex-husband was very upset. He found out about him. He's like, he's back? <laughs> no. Like, he was too through. He was like, I'd rather you mess with anybody but him. Because he knew. He, yeah, it was like something. You know, King Present. Yes, yeah, so. Let's get right. King Present. You know what I mean? And from there, it was it was history. Like we've been uns unseparable. Like right. that, that's, that's beautiful. Yes, right. dope. That's dope. Like, dope. Listen, shout out to Show Smith <laughs> for putting them links for the book in the comments. So hit them links and this uh, Amazon, all that. She put all the all links in there. Shout out to her for that. You know what I'm saying? Hit them links. I want to get this book. I right. think it's right there. Yo, get a shout out to the uh, people. What's up, everybody? Let's see. Let's see. Cheryl Smith. Shouts out to Cheryl Smith. Child support. <laughs> Who else? Christopher. He said, What's up, Queens? Shouts out to Chris. That's Elionaire. Mm -hmm. Yep, Elionaire. Shouts out to Elionaire. Shout out, shout out to Chris. What up to you, boy? Uh, thanks everybody for watching and tuning in. Yeah. Skyly, Skyly Diaz. Skyly Diaz, what up to you? Shouts out to you, Queen. Yeah. 
I can't I, I can't pronounce this other one. I don't want to mess it up. Khad, Khadija, Khadija Naim. Yeah, Khadija Naim. Okay, you shout it? out to Khadija you. Khadija shout Naeem. out to Khadija Naim. Thank Word. you for your support and thank you for tuning in. Shout out to everybody for tuning in. Yo, check it out. We ain't done. We ain't done. I'm just giving y'all some love, you know what I mean, for supporting us and all that. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with CC and Chinkies, the spicy true. We're about to get spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't think the Wi-Fi. Oh wait, we're not on a break right now. Hold up. (laughs) No days off. We don't take no motherfucking days off. KOP, nigga, King of Philly. Shout to my Philly niggas. You know what it is. Southwest. You know what it is. My niggas don't talk much. We don't say nothing at all. We just pull up and we park up. And then we buy out the bar. We pop bottles with the rose. The weed already rolled. Nigga, we about to take off. But we don't take no days off. No, no, we don't take no days off. Like rose ain't spill it. Cigars getting lit. Surrounded by some pretty women, homie. I'm just living. I'm just doing what I gotta do. Stack. Swerving through something new. Hey, why them bitches never notice you? Why? N- n- nigga, this is pitiful When we in the club, I swear these niggas is invisible okay. Man, them niggas drinking Michelob what? Them boys there popping all the bitches know <laughs> We take no days off no. Man, y'all don't see no money rate, y'all None. They stay acting funny, they frogs Stay running they mouth, but they broads You bitch niggas My niggas don't talk much we don't say nothing at all. We just pull up and we park up. And then we buy out the bar. We pop the bottles with them hoes. The weed already rolled. Nigga, we about to take off. But we don't take no days off. Hey, yeah. No, no, we don't take no hey, days yeah. off. No days off until it pays off. Right. Slick treat the corners like the playoffs. Sammy Davis Jr. the way a nigga maneuver. Do the Balenciagas and still a give them the Pumas. Woo. Flexing on niggas, no weight lifter. Weight mover, still move with the six shooter. My nigga Jizzle took the chopper with the curve on. I'm thinking Aston Martin get my swerve on. Cause I remember sleeping on the floor. Exchanging shots like stock when it was war. It's only right I score on them. Let the engine purr, lift the doors on them. Go. My niggas don't talk much. We don't say nothing at all. We just pull up and we park up. And then we buy out the bar. We pop the bottles with the most. The weed already rolled. Nigga, we about to take off. But we don't take no days off. No, no, we don't take no days off. Yo, 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 yo. I'm, I'm good. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to I Got Next TV to Vote. I Got Next TV to Vote. Shouts out to everybody tuning in. Shouts out to everybody that made it through the week. Shouts out to everybody that's spreading that love, them good love, that them good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to WDLS Radio for providing us with this platform. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Mac Johnson for coming through here. You already know. Shouts out to everybody doing these things, man. Listen, we gonna get into the segment, the spicy truth, CC and Chinky spicy truth. One of the moments we all been waiting for. Yeah. Yeah, we got a game. It's called Spicy Truth. Make sure you so basically I'm gonna put this watching Embrace the Pain episodes one, two, and three out right now. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you supporting that. Straight to the point. Every Monday and Tuesday here on WDLS Radio. We working. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we doing the whole thing. What you mean? You know, 
she never wanted to do the whole game. Oh, these real questions. Oh, then you wanna participate? What's <laughs> man? No, no I, I got my own questions. <laughs> All right, so we can start with the guest. So I don't know which one we got. Lady first. <laughs> My question is, would you ever consider being in a threesome? <laughs> That's what I was like, listen to me. I guess she got your answer. It crosses my mind sometimes. It does. Oh. I'm new to this. <laughs> it crossed my mind sometimes, but I feel like I don't know. Like if I if I wasn't married, then I probably would. But I guess because I'm married, I feel like marriage is so like a sacred thing. Like, and I don't want no crazy girls. <laughs> they turn crazy, and I might have to hurt somebody. <laughs> so, um, in my marriage, no. If we wasn't, yeah. <laughs> Mon say, have you ever really liked someone, smashed, and then regretted it? Uh, I don't think I regretted anybody. That I sm anybody that I smashed, I wanted to smash. So, I don't think I... <laughs> Regretted it. So, nah, I don't think I regret nobody I smashed. Right. Boss man. My turn? Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I bet you they don't do this over at Ola 97.5. <laughs> this is the worst sexual experience. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be a real nasty one. Oh. <laughs> Joking. I like, damn, y'all just, I gotta feel so much attention. 
I like it. My ass eating them. My oh, ass <laughs> ass <laughs> ass <laughs> me on. Ow. Wow. We need, yeah. need to drop bombs. Spicy <laughs> truth. <laughs> I didn't hear her. <laughs> you didn't hear me? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It wasn't for you, you to hear. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get my ass eaten. <laughs> that's what turns me on the most. Wow. Now, the that's the spicy, spicy truth. truth. Spicy. Yeah, that shit felt good. That was spicy. <laughs> that was okay. spicy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, if you want to know, that's the most. What's your question? Because, you know, it's true. It's true? So, if you could speak with any famous person of your choice, who would it be? Oh, we already know. August Alcino. Yes. Everybody knows. The whole world knows. We already know. Hey, listen, how you think I'm going to Look. All right, we got a couple more. Listen, can a marriage, wait, can a marriage slash relationship last without sex? Yes. Can a marriage... Technically, sex? it can. How, how long? Cause Hold up, listen, listen. <laughs> technically, it can. I don't know how or whatever, but technically, yes, it can. It really can. <laughs> but... If, to be in a relationship with me? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. How do y'all feel about that question? It seems like everything y'all bringing up, we're going through now. We took, we, we, she decided to take a week off, no sex, because tomorrow's our date night. So all oh, this whole see, week. that's spicy, though. That's all this whole that's week. That's spicy, spicy though. All we I like do that. is kiss and foreplay. Nothing going on, no penetration. So tomorrow is going down. <laughs> Yo. I had to wait a whole week. <laughs> we got That's cute. You better hang that sign in the door. <laughs> or the truck. Look. Uh, you back, boo. Let me oh, get this one. <laughs> so, yeah, it's on my Oh, I got one for you. What's this? What is it? What is it? Spicy truth here on I got next TV to vote. Oh shit. We're gonna go back around the room last to first. <laughs> Back. Start with you. Wait, we got four left. Oh, we got four All left. right, All right. Set, it off. <laughs> set it up. Set it up on the <laughs> left, <laughs> y'all. Set it up as a dead, y'all. No, we didn't do a second question, right? No, no we never do a second question. What's your second question? Dun, 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 dun. My question is. Have you ever had a one night stand with a stranger? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I, I gotta hear this. <laughs> I think you know this. Um, I didn't have intercourse, but I did let this guy eat me, and that was it. He was sprung off of how I was. So. I ran my game, because you, you know, <laughs> I backed him, <laughs> but I never had, like, intercourse, I never slept with someone, but I did let somebody give me oral that I didn't know, and never seen Hey, hey <laughs> spicy <laughs> true, <laughs> spicy. Uh, what would you say is average amount of times a week a couple should have sex? I told her uh, three to four. Three to in, four. In a day. In a day. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. We just, <laughs> we just said that. I said, if I got to go this whole week, <laughs> right. we're going to make if up. I gotta make a, if I got to wait a whole week, <laughs> yeah, our day is going to be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gym time. Y'all got to be like, ready to get Motivation, we spread it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all say. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she got another there one. we go. Right. Damn, I couldn't go like. How you get but to you, me? What you mean? 
I got one too. It skipped Danny. I'm saying, no, listen, no matter what nah. you point out nah. right now, you still got a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got one. I know. <laughs> it skipped you. There's no more. Nah. That's All right. Nope, it went like that that time. No, you still got reason questions. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get out this one. <laughs> what is your biggest turn off? Um, damn, I don't know. I didn't run into nobody with, I don't know. Shit. Sing breath. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's a nigga that don't eat ass, right? That's, <laughs> that's the opposite. <laughs> Killed him! Killed that was the opposite him. of your question. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't run into my biggest turn off yet. Because anybody that I had, like, I wanted them. Like, I wanted you. Like, you better know that. Like, yeah, I had you. I ain't oh, even. No. I have no. Mm-mm. Not yet. I'm sorry. Next. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather make love or hit it and quit it? No, that's not my answer. That was an inside voice speaking out loud. Yeah, that's the situation. If I'm really feeling somebody, then, you know, I want to I wanna feel that. But if I'm just... I want to feel that. So you have one night stands? Yeah. Yeah. Not recently. I haven't. No. Let's get that out the way. I've been chilling. Like I've been chilling. Yeah. Like. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> back to your regularly schedule. <laughs> What's the segment? What's called spicy, and spicy, spicy true, spicy true. That was the spicy truth here. I got next team. <laughs> WDLS radios. <laughs> oh, when a guy's thing is mad small, that's a turn off. I had to Yo, think about this real hard. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come back at the end. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna test run this this little segment I've been coming up with. It's called I Never. Never have I ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, sure. now listen. The object of this one is you go around the table. Whoever's first, you gotta scream out something that you think somebody in this room did. But say you never did. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like never have I ever. So you oh. like you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta try to That's hard. Basically, if I think <laughs> you just ate some chips, some I, if I think you eat Doritos, I'm gonna be like, Man, I never ate no Doritos. And then whoever ate Doritos gotta be like yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then you know what I'm saying, you get it? It's right. like drink again, don't like a, it um, like clue, <laughs> like clue. Like that game? You gotta say what you think. Like you, you gotta make somebody like put like, their hand up. Whoever, we, whoever get their hand up three times, and, and, and then that's the. It's like the, it's the person that they want. They lost. They lost. I'll watch. The yeah. <laughs> I, I know game this is. I, I played this game. Um, right. Go. Let's go. You started off. <laughs> You got buns right, last listen. night. So listen. So listen. So listen. I never had crabs. Oh wait, food, I seafood? No, like, like the STD. Oh, oh. oh hey yo. I, I Ain't about nobody the dogs some crabs. You know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta do I'm it like, though. Hey, you said set it off as an example. I'm gonna save my spicy joints for when we go around. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. Anybody in this Ray room raise their hand for that? <laughs> shit, I'm gonna get out. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody had crabs. Right. And me too. That would have been like, uh uh-uh, uh, maybe it's on this chair. Let me get out. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh we all lit. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> right. Yo, that was deep. <laughs> let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Can I get a pass? Like, 
Yeah, somebody you could bring in. Um, this is deep. <laughs> um, I never shit and never wipe my ass before. Oh my Yo, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I said I never shit <laughs> and never wipe my ass <laughs> Yo, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, African? You know, you're nasty. She's trying to call me nasty for something I never did. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm sorry, that bro. Y'all know about this shade. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait. My bad, my bad. Look. That that game ain't developed yet. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna skip that one. I, yeah, yeah. Well, you had Doritos, <laughs> pineapples to that. <laughs> Listen, we could I got, think. I got, <laughs> I got twenty one questions for you right now, right now, right here, right here. Y'all just had me thinking right now, for like right twenty now, right minutes. Right here, right here, right here. <laughs> Back and forth. You got one, then you got one, then you got one, and you got one. It's a lightning oh. question. Okay. It's lightning questions. You ready? Lightning round. Ready? 21 questions right here. I got next to you the vote. WGLS radios. Right now, right now. Let's go. 21 questions. Hot dogs or hamburgers? Hamburgers. Hennessy or Ciroc? Hennessy. If you didn't, if you didn't need money, what would you do? Say that again. If you didn't need money, what would the number one thing that you would do? If I didn't need money. Is that you need money? Is that you need money? Pray to God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. In, empire or power? Power. Cook out or fine wine? I'm fine dining. Depends on the situation. That's not the answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Cook out. Cook out. Bet. Night or day? Day. A person you looked up to growing up. I ain't had no role models. My mom. <laughs> Your mom. Cheese fries or regular fries? Cheese, Cheese fries. OJ or apple juice? Apple juice. Best cure hang um, best hangover cure. Joke. Huh? What do you say? Best hangover <laughs> cure. Oh, hangover cure. Water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite vacation spot. Miami. <laughs> Miami. <laughs> Snapbacks or bandanas? Snapbacks. Snapbacks. Gotta throw the bandanas to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite rapper? Mac. <laughs> <laughs> truth or dare? Dare. Oh, truth uh, or dare. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> <laughs> Alright, look, check it out. Um. Oh, a thing you can't live without. Look, got it. Uh, it's life. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, though. You hit that on point. That was on point. <laughs> Listen, what weighs more, a pound of cotton or a pound of steel? Still. A pound of steel. Cotton? A pound of, a, kind of, a pound of cotton or a pound of steel? What weighs more? Still, that, is that Still. a right or wrong answer? No, I'm saying, if the, what if the pot, what if the, the cotton might be wet though? The cotton? The cotton might be wet though. Oh. Still heavy. I'm, I'm saying, still still, yeah. still, still going with the still. Still, still going with the still. Um, a pound is a pound. <laughs> 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 Listen, afros are braids. Afros are braids. 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 Yeah. Trick question. Friday or Saturday? Let's go. Saturday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm happy I got next to you with a vote Friday. You already know from WDLS Radios. We in the building. Shouts out to everybody watching to today. Check it out. If Y-E-S spells yes, what does E-Y-E-S spell? Oz. Yes. Right. <laughs> All right. Smart guy. He's smart. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> that was 21 oh, questions. That was dope. That was dope. <laughs> <laughs>
You yeah. already know. So listen, we are gonna get back know. into um some of this, some more this, this part two of this interview with Mr. Mac Johnson and his wife. Right. So listen, um, what else y'all got coming on? You got you got some music? Oh yeah, tell them about um the web series. Web series, yeah. Oh well, my character actually just not too long ago been killed off. Right. Listen, if y'all don't know, um, Mayhem Web well, Series. Mayhem Web Series. Y'all can um look that up on um on YouTube. I'm the, Mayhem. I'm the song. That's yeah. Me. What you know about Mayhem? What you know somebody about? get shot, somebody gotta die, nigga. That's yeah, me. that's that's yeah, that's yeah. him on there, yeah, and that he's me. also um in it, featured in it. <laughs> I know you looked up so um, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, talk about but that. Yeah, shout out the old Mayhem cast. Uh, the homie Dre, aka Reeg, made all the Lanise, DJ, my sister Norky, the Bo. If I'm missing anybody's name, because there's so many of y'all. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all y'all, but the show definitely keep watching, keep supporting, <laughs> representing Jersey. Jersey in the um, building. It's definitely one it's of the, the I, I won't even say one of the top, it is the top web it series is, is. right now. Right. That's it out is. right now. It is. I seen the award, number one, y'all, number y'all one award, urban y'all web y'all series, yeah. Yeah, y'all was so the definitely, I I definitely my, I had to plug research. them in to get my support to them. Definitely do my research. Oh, and, and that's that's really what's going on as far as that show. I can't speak so much on it because I'm no longer in it. I'm no longer involved in it. His, uh, I mean, my, my song still plays on it, so when y'all watch it, y'all listening. That's my song still coming on. So shout out Reek for keeping me on that too. As far as that goes, Mayhem, y'all support it. Say that. So um which uh which what you got um some music? You still doing the music? Well, I took a I took a hi- I've been on a hiatus for music. Right. Really, I ain't even gonna lie. Due to the fact that when I transitioned from Jersey to Pennsylvania, it's like I haven't got my foot wet with meeting different people trying to get into the studio so me going back and forth to jersey every week and every other week and trying to record right was taking a hassle that's why i'm trying to promote 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 and tell people i do the music so i can link up with certain type of people right you know what i mean but i have been working on a project no days off three i can't tell you when it's coming because i'd be lying to you right. <laughs> i've been saying it's coming soon for the longest but they already know, especially for people that's tuning in now that do know that I do music. No Days Off 2 is out right now on SoundCloud, that piff. Uh, you can so, uh, YouTube search me, Mac Johnson. All my videos will pop up. I do got a single out right now that's called Red Bull of Hennessy. And as far as that goes, music is just on the way. I can't speak too much on music, but music is on the way. <laughs> clothing line is my priority. No Days and, Off. And I'm in, I'm in college, so all that other stuff takes away music right now right but i still got the passion for it right i mean truth truthfully everybody when they start rapping some some when i speak on like the true artist not somebody that's just looking to make a hit but a true art is always going to bring you their background right so first and foremost that that that's just me bring you my background bring you what's going on like i could turn around and next thing you know go make a song about what just happened here so i'm more into what's going on now what's current and things like that life situations and i did have a rough life but as far as me being set i'm just one of one that's right. it i'm one of one right everybody do music everybody rap everybody you on the tune everybody just do, doing this and that but me i'm just it, i'm just isolated from what everybody else doing I got I got core fans like core fans like because I haven't been rapping for so long, it's like Mac when you come back when you Mac when you coming back that's that's good to me that's motivation. Do you have other artists that you collab with? Oh, I got plenty of artists right now. I do got a group, so shout out my team NFO. Uh, They also got a clothing line coming out too. It's never falling off. So that's a clothing line. I'm gonna plug in my boy, my brother Johnny Bonds. He been doing music. He also play on the um, web series. Uh, what was it? Tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, but I did collab with a few few artists. That as far as like this, I would say sort of like underground mainstream. That maybe if I say the name, it might pop pop out. Like uh, Shotgun Shug from North and uh, Crush Calhoun. His name is buzzing. So those are the only two people like far as mainstream underground that's really got a buzz like going on. But everybody else is just local people. I done did music with things like that. Get it. Got it. So um, there you have it, man. Make sure y'all checking out that apparel. 
plug it in again once again how they reach you on the oh, y'all, can, y'all can reach me on facebook at mac johnson that's m-a-c-c johnson instagram m-a-c-c underscore johnson 239 and uh y'all could just dm me hit me in my inbox and just let me know what it is y'all like oh i'm sorry i can't hide not plug this in uh mr on instagram mr period no days off underscore that's the clothing page specifically all for clothing everything there is just all for clothing and you can uh send me an email there tell me what you like i do shipping all across the world right. i done i done reached 83 cities already out of right. 23 states tell them i've been doing good right now just with no op- no other operation just me and my wife right that's look. a beautiful thing right yeah. there look at that all this right. all this motivation pop motivation motivational positive energy <laughs> <laughs> Um, so is there any venue that you wish you you could perform at well i mm, i'm not familiar with far venues out here but i'm an open book so if anybody got like uh any open slots like yo mag you want to perform or as far as uh sob's and southwest myself like a big venue like oh yeah yeah anybody anybody would dream to do madison square garden of course Mm -hmm. uh What's that one out here, the Wells Fargo Center or something? The PPNL yeah. Center. Yeah, that. I want to pull a Kevin Hart out this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 something like that. But right. I mean, far as far as that goes, like I could see myself doing that far as like music, mm-hmm. music wise. But more so, I'm more of a behind the scenes guy. Like I like music, but I'm more of a managing another artist because I, I major in marketing. Right. Okay. So I'm a, I do marketing. So. With me trying to do it for myself, like I can see somebody else doing it better. Like, hey, you do this. Let me do that. Let me be in the background. So what advice would you give somebody trying to pursue the same thing as you? I mean, as far as trying to pursue something as me, I've, like it sure say, dream big. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't don't stop believing in what you can possibly do. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, like, my, my path may be different for everybody. Like, sometimes I, sometimes I may feel like, damn, like, I grew up with this dude, but he really buzzing. He, damn, I was just doing this, but he all the way out. Like, I guess Instagram make your life look like it's more than what it is. But sometimes people really be making moves. Right. And you feel like, yo, you're in that same, you're in that same position, you're in that same boat. But it's like, that's just not my path. I get there when I get there. Right. So just because somebody got there before you are, they just moving faster than you. Don't, don't let that be a setback. Yeah, don't let that discourage you at all. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep perfecting your craft. And one day soon, whatever it is, cause some. And another thing, you you may you may be on a path, but that night may, that may not be the path for you. So right. find some. You could also find something else like that. Like I like I did. Like I thought music. I started out wanting to be a football player. So <laughs> I from from being trying to be a football player, and that's a crazy thing, cause I do uh, still play flag football. So shout out my outside of team. Oh, I know, I know, I know. We gotta leave. We trying to be in that joint. I'm in one right now. Oh, I know. I, where, I know so extreme, about, extreme, about. extreme football league. But uh, outside of that, like I wanted to do this and I want to do that. Now, I want to be in marketing. So that's why I'm working towards marketing. Right. I'm trying to get my degree to be a business, be a business entrepreneur. As far as music, like, I just hop on anybody record. <laughs> just call me for features. That's right. it. Shouts out to you, sis. Wendy was good. So, what would you say um, is your next? Your next step to take over your career. Marquise was good. Being my own boss. Being my own boss. Being my own boss. Andrew and Nicole was and good. That's that's what I'm on a verge to doing right now. Just being my own boss. But right now it's like priorities is first. Like I got four kids. I'm married. I got to, I go to school. I'm a father. I'm, mm-hmm. I do all these things. So I can't just say I'm quit my nine to five right now. Because music ain't obviously I ain't doing music because it ain't paying the bills right now. Mm-hmm. So those type of things. Right. right. Some good questions. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm about to get an interview for a job. <laughs> so, um, to the queen, um, what what made you, what inspired you to write a book? Um, I've been writing since I was probably nine years old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my first my first little book that I wrote. Uh, I wrote out a whole notebook, I think, when I was probably 11, 12. 
I would write out a whole story of how my summer went and it came out to like 200 pages. So <laughs> I always loved writing. So um, with the book, what inspired me, um, it was a joke one day. I was, we was laying in the bed and I was like, yo, our story is so like unique and it had so much to it. And I was like, it'd be dope if I wrote a book about it. And he was like, yo, you know what? You should write that book. And I started thinking about it, and then I brushed it off. But then I was like, you know what? I probably could write this book because right. it's so much. And then it's, it's, it's a lot of personal, <laughs> personal things. So it was like he inspired me to really go back and, and write in the book. It just made me feel like a kid again. Like I remember when I used to write like this. Mm -hmm. And just to sit and just write out everything. And then like we saved our text messages from when we first started texting each other and he put it in like a notebook printed it all out. he printed all, 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 all our text messages, messages out that's and i was like that's black love great at its finest for me to use it for the book <laughs> like right. so i used our like, our real text messages, things that we would text each other that we didn't think somebody else would read yeah. <laughs> is in the book wow. yeah <laughs> he's engaged <laughs> So yeah, I was I was a side chick at one point, <laughs> but I don't I don't promote being a side chick, guys. <laughs> nah, I'm saying, but you telling reality because listen, if you were grown up, I don't care, man. Every chick done been a side chick at one point in time, and every dude done been a side dude at one point in time. So it's like, come on, that's just reality. That's why I, that's deep, y'all. I, I like that y'all telling that in your story, yeah, y'all in the book, you know. That's that's really yeah, dope. Real. I mean. You, you ain't have to make up a story. You could tell your own life and put that in the yeah, books. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 the the beauty that I love about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of being embarrassed about it, you chose to share it with everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's, you see that's how really that dope. came about? I inspired her to write a book. She inspired me to do a clothing line. Right. One hand washed the other. See? That's that's the empire yeah, right there. That's, that's the empire. Both pushed it. That's listen. That's motivation man that's a that's like wow that's dope you can feel it right i'm like not to mention we both got killed all too ride together we died together when i got killed off the show she got killed off the show we died together uh-uh the pop going she going that one video, you remember that? If, when my when my if my boy kills the boy, it kills somebody. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm he said, um, if 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 somebody if somebody if I'm gonna die today, my boy's gonna die. Today. <laughs> 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 they're gonna die for me. He like, <laughs> he got the wrong one today. <laughs> like the funniest part was when he called him on the um IG, called him back about like, why, yeah, why would you like, do that? Why, why, like, why you why you make that face like that? Because like, dog, we was like on Hot Nine Seven, and you made that face. Like that. <laughs> What was the first step you took, uh, like, like, like to get your book, like, like, what was the, like, how, like, you know, I, I get it, you wrote it, and mm -hmm. then, like, like publishing yeah, yeah, like, what you, what you, how did you, you do after that? Um, once I typed it out, I just Googled, like, a whole bunch of different, um, publishing places. Um, I was gonna do the, uh, publishing on my own, but... I didn't know anything about <laughs> doing publishing. Right. So I made some calls and Googled around. Um, the Shout publisher, out too. yeah, and the publisher <laughs> that I have, like, it was my first time for yeah. everything. I didn't know anything about it. Um, but to be honest, I mean, if I could publish it with someone else, I would because now the knowledge that I do know now right. of it. But um, I Googled around. And search for different publishers and stuff right. and I came across one that was in my at the time my financial bracket so mm -hmm. but once I come across this money from this no days off we're going the second book that I'm gonna put out is gonna be way bigger because mm -hmm. I know the good, I know, thing, so. the good thing we did get out of it though out of that publishing we did get a book signing in yeah. Miami that's, oh, that wow. was our first trip together. Yeah, they Just chose to our go book. out there. It was in a magazine, so we was That's in Miami crazy. doing a book signing. And That's where do you crazy. where do you get this book again? Um, from Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Okay. okay. Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. The um links for that book are in the comments. If you guys uh 
want to enjoy some reading time. You know what I'm saying? Truth to our scandal. You can read the back too. <laughs> <laughs> She's the reader. <laughs> Um, oh, you ain't had to read it. Oh, okay. Okay. Jesus, the reader. I'll do it. It's good. I'm going to get it. I got you. But, yeah. That's good. I like that. I don't know. That inspires me a little bit. Yeah, that's power <laughs> move. Listen. And y'all do some acting. Check this out. We doing a, um, a web series. It's going to be called Secret Lives. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we got to audition well, y'all, y'all gotta do this audition, but um, we are having auditions. At, um, we having a Potega Potega Boy party out in the mansion, mansion yeah, party. Seen that yeah, you posted. and we having the auditions out there. But that was just a plug in. I went I can't <laughs> back to the other. That's on September fifteenth, by the way. Shouts out to Half the Hustle. Um, but yeah, we doing the Secret Lives, and I know y'all already doing y'all acting and being in web cities and stuff. So um. But this story, the Secret Lives thing, is going to be like a whole bunch of um, scenarios of people's lives, mm -hmm. like uh, secrets they're trying to hide. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, our first our first one, say every, every episode is going to be different. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be like, oh, uh, I want to see what happened next time. No, that was it. Then the next one is going to be something different. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Secret Lives. So um, this is going to be like, this first one is two middle class um, couple. You know what I mean? That's married. And um, one is the the, the, uh, the wife is a fashion designer. And um, the male is a photographer. And they're, they're real big upcoming companies. So they're like almost going corporate. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, the twist to that is that the wife is gay. But the husband doesn't know. Oh, that's and a lot. And, 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 and it's more twist to it, but that's just the catcher to say, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's where we're going with it right now. But it's a mad twist in, the, in it. But that's just to say, and secret I'm lives, this is the twist. You, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? We're looking for some people. Y'all want anybody that want to do some acting? What up, Johnny? You know what I'm saying? Anybody that want to do some acting or anything like that, take it serious. That really want to shot at doing something epic that's just going to be acted epic. We're going to have a lot of... Um, we call that uh we call that oh i lost it <laughs> appearances oh. i mean appearances a couple celebrities gonna help me out so you know what i'm saying we're gonna make this a nice thing we're gonna film it it's no like i said it's not a hood flick it's mm -hmm. it's gonna be a nice web series built on it's just gonna have twists you know what i'm saying like this time i just told you the scenario right. you know what i'm saying the couple being married and the wife being gay like my next joint is something like uh, a happy married single no I mean a, a divorced single mom you know what I'm saying that got two kids to take care of and she work all day but at night time she, she a call girl you know what I'm saying like it's gonna be twists like that you know what I'm saying so it's called Secret Lives you know what I mean we filming that and whoever down here let's up in the inbox any one of us you know what I'm saying y'all wanna you know, wanna partake in that we looking for extras and everything so we about to start filming this <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, Johnny Bond said, what up? Bonds, Mr. Tell a friend, tell a friend. That's great. I was just Johnny. talking. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, um, I'm going to give a shout out to some of these supporters I got. You know, shouts out to Harlem Health out of Cloven. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to um, Embrace the Pain. Make sure you watch it straight to the point every shout Mondays and Tuesdays right here on WDLS Radios. Shouts out to No Days Off. It's the Matt Johnson sitting right here. Shouts out to the Joe Frazier Foundation. The legacy still exists. Shouts out to Tia Hamilton of State vs. Magazine. Make sure you copping that. And uh, shouts out to the boss man here at WDLS Radios for providing us with this platform. And most of all, shouts out to you guys, the guys that watch. Even if you don't watch, even if you click in and click out. Shouts out to y'all, man, because y'all are the number one MVPs. And I thank y'all for y'all support. And shout out to everybody watching my skits that I just started doing, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, man. It made like two of my joints go like already. So, yo. Um, what's up? Y'all want to do your quotes of the 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 day? Shouts out to everybody that made it through the week. Happy I got next to you to vote Friday. 
Let me remind y'all to go out here, party, drink responsibly. You know what I'm saying? And to continue to spread the good vibes throughout the weekend. You know what I'm saying? And always lend a helping hand when you can lend one. All right. <clears throat> My quote is, don't worry about failures. Worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try. Mm. Say that. One more time, be a for a picture. <laughs> 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 you know, I've been thinking too long. Uh-huh. <laughs> Say one more time, I, see. Like don't that. worry about failures. <laughs> worry about chances you miss when you don't even try. Say that. Okay. You got some vibes? You got something you want to say? Yep. She's selling vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a vibe, all right? I'm going. You can follow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that's her. That's hers right there. That's I'm going. Mean, you can follow. <laughs> All right, listen. Mean. Mine is you live longer once you realize that spending that being like spending time unhappy is a waste. It is a waste. waste you know what I'm saying? So you live happy being happy instead of spending time worry about everything else. You know what I'm saying? Worry about yourself. Mind your mother business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the the you got something to say, boss man? Mm-hmm. Boss man. You already know where I go. Rich is going to break his bones, but his bones will never fall down. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Get that. That's deep. That's <laughs> real deep. Like that. Listen. Me too. Y'all got something to say before we close out? You got something to say? Cop that book. Cop the book. <laughs> <bill, laughs> cop all that hats. Everything. They got it all. You can pro- use profanity. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> like, I, like I told Z, I don't really freestyle, but I did write this on the way here. Oh, just oh, to get yeah, something. A little oh, something. It's like. A little something. I've been on the grind since 09, putting it down. 2018 has been nine years. Look at me now. I've been chilling because now I got a wife and some kids. Niggas think that I'm fool and get a knife to the ribs. One beef, I have my goon steak out where you live. Catch you walking in your crib, give you nothing but the biz. I'm the general. Better have insurance when you come for me. Uh huh. <laughs> this Mac full curb, but your life is a liability. Mm. Don't fuck with me. I ain't the nigga to go to war with. Cause I declare war if we end up on the same shit. Mm. This real shit. Shit, I'm rapping like I'm me again. They said I fell off. Now it's looking like I'm on again. Ooh. I ain't wanna rap. I just came here promoting shit. No days off. The clothing line is some other shit. Eee. It's NFO. That's the gang that I'm running with. 1030 squad. Those my brothers like my mother's kid. Yo. I got next. I'm the hottest in the valley, but I really come from Jersey. PA gonna know about me. Super dope. <laughs> that was super dope. Hey, I got that super ah. boat. <laughs> you feel me? Yo, listen. That was on the way in. That was dope. <laughs> I appreciate that you one, bro. Me? I told y'all I'd come through. Well. I was contemplating. I'm like, why not, man? <laughs> Hottest hip show in the valley, the vault, Mr. No so, Days Off. You already know. I got a question for you. Oh. <laughs> so, being with somebody who's so articulate with their words, do you ever receive any kind of special? From, from any other man. Um, you know what I'm talking about? What, getting lines from another person? No, 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 I'm saying because you're so Yes, it was fire, Melissa. Words, you more than just the ordinary words when you're saying things to you or write something to you or it's send you a card or send you a message. Yeah. It's just the way he say it. <laughs> oh, you're talking about her. It was, he said yeah. something inspirational to me and I had, I, I think I had put on Facebook probably like a year or two ago but it was something off of a song that touched me and he was even though it was through a song it was something he already told me right Right. and coming from the situation I was in with my previous marriage he said something and it always does something to me and he said um never settle I just went blank. (laughs) 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 Never settle. Just get your stuff together. It was just something about it from him, coming from him. Like, it touched me. So every time I think, like, if I can't do something or if I feel like uh, I'm second guessing it, I always listen to what he says. Like, don't be in your feelings because you're caught up in the moment. 
it. <laughs> <laughs> he has a lot of inspirational things to say, and I really take heed and listen to it. And it got me here. Right. This right. is the this from from where I come from before. Like this is a, a big step and a big leap, and I feel like I owe that all to him. Like he's a king. <laughs> That's for y'all. Yeah, I like that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like y'all, like man. I like this energy, man. I like this energy. That's super dope. Look, as you see the power couple, check them out, man. Follow them. Get to know them, man. And most definitely make sure you cop in their apparel, man. So, Mr. No Days Off, man. I appreciate you coming through, man. Oh, you already. I appreciate, I appreciate you all your support, more. man. This is big. Ready. This is just a start. This is just a start. This is a new path. This is what I'm talking about. A new path. You never know what's might come out. When I do come back, I'm be promoting that album, like I said. Right. <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> right. <here>. Word up. <laughs> and we got cards and everything. Kind of lurk. Right. Oh yeah. yeah, most definitely check out the page. I'll tell you how to um get a get a hold of the apparel and get a, get a part of everything else, the book and everything. Um, happy I got next TV to vote Friday from WDLS Radios. Right. When you go out tonight, make sure you drink responsibly. Make sure you have a good <laughs> night. Make sure you have a great weekend. And most of all, make sure you spread some positive vibes to somebody else to uplift them. Yeah. If you can't right, if you can't motivate somebody going, else. Your face. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> What did I say? Fix your face. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, fix your face. Yeah, oh. Wait, what, what happened to the face? Wait, I'm lost. Go ahead. I seen that. <laughs> 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 Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but listen, happy y'all got next TV again. Once again, y'all go out here and drink responsibly. Um, Catch y'all at Catch 22 tonight. Shouts out to yeah. Wake and Bake. Make sure y'all watch on Wake and Bake Monday through Friday. Make sure y'all get some Make sure y'all watch on Wake and Bake Monday morning. Y'all you know I mean have breakfast with us. Um check it out. Shouts out to Half the Hustler. Make sure you checking out this mansion party September 15th. And get with us, man. Happy I got next to the vault Friday. We out of here, bro. Be great, everybody.